Here are the brothers. They're going to pump it up for us guys. I'm going to hand it over to Brother Samuel over here, who's going to have a quick chat here about what the haka is about. Like I said, there's no better time for a march than in the rain, and there's no better time for a haka than in the rain. Let's get it on. Awesome. Let's give it up for our brother Tricky. Got to look after this man. Come on, let's make some noise for Tricky this afternoon. Mighty man. Um, look, just as our men and our ladies are getting ready to uh, perform this war dance, this haka, uh, there's something I want you to grab from it today. It's boldness and courage. Everyone say boldness. Everyone say courage. We are at war. It is a different style of war, psychological war. And as you know, we are Kiwis. We're from New Zealand. But I want to remind us of that Anzac spirit and that, that united heart that we have as Australia and New Zealand. At least we forget the battle that our great-grandfathers fought for, for the freedom and rights of us to live in such these countries. And so today, as our men and our ladies prepare to declare some stuff, I want you to know that there is a greater war and a greater challenge that's going on. And I want you, as I heard that message from, was it San Diego or California? I want you, um, I just want to share a little bit about who we are. So I'm a pastor of Destiny Church. Uh, we run Man Up and Sisterhood. But the founder of our groups in New Zealand runs the foremost revolution group for protest in New Zealand. That is the Freedom and Rights Coalition in New Zealand. Now, my father, he was locked up for numerous days and he was consigned to his home for 80 days because of one act. I'll tell you what that act was. It was grabbing the mic off the MC at an unsafe distance of 1.5 metres. And he was consigned into his house. He wasn't allowed to speak. He wasn't allowed to turn up to any protest. His rights were taken. Let's go. So Tricky, I know what we're connecting for. It's something bigger than just us doing the haka. It's actually something that we can fight together for, which is our freedoms. And so today I see many umbrellas. Look, I don't agree with everyone here. You don't agree with your brother probably on your left on everything. My religion might be a Buddhist out there, a different, someone who believes nothing. This one's black, he's white, he's yellow. But there's something that we have as a commonality. And it's the overarching umbrella of our freedom and rights. And if we go back to just months ago or a year ago, at least we forget what our grandfathers fought for, but at least we forget what this government put us through. I will never forget what they put us through. And I will continue my days fighting against such behavior. And so today, this haka that the men are about to perform, it represents, and it's the words are basically this, men, women of all cultures and creeds, it's time to stand. Rise up now with the courage to do something that will last for generations to come. For my children are relying on me to stand. Don't give up the fight now. Stand in the gap and be the determining factor of toppling these bastards and the government who have selfish ambition in order to see their cause move forward, in order to see net worth grow and to see their status rise while those who are in the community and on the ground floor with the people have to suffer the consequences for the laws and the rules they put in place. So without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to our team. Now as we do this, I want you to open your heart up to receive courage and to receive, to receive boldness. For today we make a stand once again. Tu tangata. Tu tangata.
Jeez, bro. Well done.